to do before they go to lunch, okay? All right. And after making the address, oh, you you stand up here, do it, no. I just want to make the address. Now, first move we're going to make, you get over here, we can do it, I'll step down here. Now, this is a, a why, right? I'm not going to break the wrist. I'm going to let him shift his hips into that and turn. That's the first movement, the shift into the left. No, just see it there. Now go the other way. Now that's the body action. So you have a shift in the ro rotation of the shoulders, right? The club is separate from the ball. Now that's a constant now, without the accelerating force. I'll give you in a moment with the hands. Okay? You see there, his left leg is holding him up. That leg, left leg, the shoulders are turning, right? But you're only turning a certain degree because you're not breaking the hands or the right, shoulder, right elbow. But now... That's not too stiff. No, that is not too stiff. I can hit it with that thing like that because I know to lift the heel, I got to break it. And I use this two more bicep to do that. <clears throat> and if oh, you don't, yeah. So I say, I mean, as long as you learn this exercise, I don't give a damn how, what you do with that. Uh -huh. Mike, this knee stays flexed, this hip. It's being pulled back on you. Right. And you so back. This way. Yeah. That's right. Now you, you feel support. I tell you what you do. I, when I get on this thing like this, I can hold up three men, right there. Mm -hmm. You can hold up one, do that. Mm -hmm. Now, is the, did anybody see any objection to this way of swinging? Now, that's, that's motion. So if the knee, if the knee stays flexed, you're gonna get more of a reverse pivot? Yeah. Get back up. You do a posterior rotation to the right hip. Now this is a posterior rotation right hip, and you stay on your left. No, it'd be a little bit more on the left because you see to address the thing, you move over a little bit like that to lower the right shoulder. Now, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! That's beautiful! Beautiful! That's where it Right, right there. You see that? That's beautiful too, isn't it? Now, I'm going to show you something. We're going to do hand action, okay? Now, we're going to keep this still. We're going to move this right hand into half extension. That puts the left wrist in palm of flexion, okay? Now we come through here like that. Do that. Now, this is a short one, just a short movement. Now, we combine those. It's a take a first class. Mike, I can see the person over there. Uh, I'd like to watch that again here where you draw. That's the hand action. Okay. No, I'm I'm not moving the arms at the moment. I'm do moving hands. I do a what this called a dorsal flexion of the this right hand. Now I'm doing a a slight palm flexion, but the elbow is turning a little bit. You see? Now it should come forward. Now you just let that loose and let it come that way. Now pick up that heel and let it go. See, they had to stay and look there. They had to, excuse, excuse me, do that. But well, when I look at it, when I watch this, I see Rick do this with his hand. Later on, you're going you're gonna to let the shift do it, yeah. And follow that, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Okay. You do it with your hands. This is just a hand drill. This is a, this is a hand drill just to show them how to use their hands. Okay. Combat, combat com, you know, combine the, now the shift and, uh, and then the turn. And you get a full swing, understand? But you sort of got to go in this way yeah. more than, more than yeah. that. Yeah. If you want to 
fight that left field all day, you go that other way. So Mike, when it gets here, eventually you're going to rotate up here. See, the wrists will come together here. So when you hit the ball, now let me show you something. When you hit the ball, now that, that isn't here, that's the dress. When you hit the ball, you're there. Now, hold, hold it, stay there. Now, the, see this right hand hasn't completed its action yet. This is a straight line from the club head up to the left shoulder. Now, as this comes like now, the wrists will come together like that, and then they'll turn over. Oh, okay. Huh? Wrists come together. No, you're too tight. Man, you, you know, you got that thing locked up in your arms. <laughs> that way. Okay. And then turn and over. Then turn them over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this one. Okay. You, you come now. I'm going to bring this together. Watch. No. Yeah, and then turn over. Okay. Let it go into the, into the... Then come back in. You understand? It's turning over just so more or less happens, you know. Ah, you know. oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, that when you break that left arm, see, that'll turn it over. Okay. Don't, don't lock this thing this way. For the average starting golfer, how much training is there involved in getting to do that? It actually, if you take a person who never had a golf lesson, it is so easy, and women, because they normally walk with a, the hips working this way. A man walks with his hips level. A woman walks with a tilting hip action. You see, a woman walks this way, this way, this way. And that's where you swing. And it's seven years added to your life walking that way. <laughs> you walk this way, stiff like this. You're stubbing up those spine, cutting off the circulation of your brain. So, now shift, that's right. Man, I tell you, see that ball go right there. You come around and walk around like this and you're going out of... See, there's so much, this is crap. That turns the blade but doesn't advance the shaft. This is Vance the club. I'm hitting that ball. Man, I'm just knocking the crap out of it with the head. I'm not coming in and ticking this thing there with the arm and locking the wrist and turning the hand under, you know? Good. See, it doesn't, doesn't convolute. A convolute is like that. Yeah. It stays on plane. Hmm? So if, that's the, if that was the target line, Mike, the edge of that stage, yeah. okay, half of that club head now, after you hit it, it's going more over it? Yeah, it's just, just coming, it. yeah, it's coming down the fairway until you come to here. Mm -hmm. And he turns over and he comes there. So it's and going down that line more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, but no, I'm not, I'm not doing here. I'm letting a 180 degree pendulum action take forth around the base of the wrist. Now this is this is only half of a semicircle. Now this is the other half. Look at the acceleration. Look at the acceleration and the energy now get into the club head which creates some tropical force. Now look at this. Now I take it here and do this. I'm swinging, my body swinging the same speed, but that club is can you see that? Mm -hmm. I shift, I shift this way into convection on the left side, con, you know, concave on the right. Well, I don't make that happen. I let the club head do it, and it doesn't ever get into that degree that you went into. Okay. Yeah. That way. And you see, I'm trying to drive the ball up. I always carry the ball. I never want it to roll. I wanted to hit and stop. And see, my ball all carry, all carry. I don't have to worry about bones. Those rolling balls, <laughs> this is the one you <laughs> You're trying to keep this as loose as possible? Not loose, no, free. I got enough grip here to hold that club up. I'm not squeezing it and locking it, the shaft to the left shoulder. I've got a hinge here, and if you don't use that, the third lever's non-usable. 
Look at this. First level. It's from the elbow to the shoulder. That's working just as the body going. Second lesson, from the elbow to the hand. Third level, hand to the club head. Hi. But don't stop your body. Don't stop your body. You stop your body, and you, your hands will get this way before you hit the ball. I don't want the hands that way until like way out here. After, now go. There, and then over. Stays right on plane. Let the elbow raise after it goes high. Up. Go ahead. Up. Let the elbow raise. You want to keep that radius. That bar.